so I don't know where to start. I guess I'll start with this is a basic Slayer exciter circuit. Okay, that's a tip 42, I believe a transistor with a diode and a 47k resistor put onto it. And anyways, as we come up, as you can tell right now, I'm pulling in. Oh, what is that? An amp at 12.2 volts. And we're running the Slayer Exciter with a couple bulbs. All right, now that's cool, you know. You get the, the whole wireless deal, you know. It's all wireless, so on and so forth. I mean, that's awesome. That's cool. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. But that's not the spectacular part. Alright, yeah, we got this stuff. But I also did a Gerald Morning replica. And as you can tell right here are the wires that are coming around. As you can see. Around. And so on and so forth. And it's coming up over to my little motor. But it is running Gerald Morning's front load washing machine pump it's the I mean I mean not machine pump it's the front load washer uh, it's the water pump to it now that is being ran right into this circuit okay and then we'll come over here and I got my little meter we'll turn this on okay hold on and right now I'm at 33.4 volts but I also have this line ran in. Well, let's start with this one. This one, which is led all the way up to this light. Okay. And then, see, we're getting a little bit of noise up in here. There we go. And then I have this cord right here running all the way down. Okay. And it is coming over to here, all right, which is then coming up here. And I have one cord that's going down here. Well, that's another mini Tesla coil that I made. I um, mean, thanks a lot, Abrams. Uh, that was good. That's cool teaching me how to do all this stuff. Um, that's some fiber optics I'm going to do some stuff with here in a little bit. But then I'm running over here, and I'm tapped in. I got another bulb right here. I mean, I can screw that in, too. And, We'll light that one up too. And as you can tell, I got some Christmas lights in. Alright, now they're faintly on right now. They're running all the way around and up. All the way over here. Down. I got them crisscrossed around here, so on and so forth. And around. Coming down. And around. Coming all the way over here. So on and so forth. And I threw out the whole back porch. Alright. But that's not the spectacular thing. Right now I'm only running at 12 volts. Let's crank this up to about, I oh don't know, 31 volts. Let's see what we're doing here. Alright, let's watch everything too. Alright, now we're at 18 volts, 1.72. Run a little bit better. Lights are getting brighter. Okay, nice. All right, now let's crank it up a little bit more. Now watch my plasma start to come out of my bulb. All right, 2.4 volts. We got some light. Oh yeah, all the way around Christmas light, so on and so forth. Yeah, that's sweet. All right, and right now I'm pulling out. I uh, still, I mean, it fluctuates back and forth, you know. And then I can plug in, you know, my little clock if I wanted to, right here. Uh, now we got an alarm clock going. And now uh, I can play with some high voltage too, but um, I kind of blew it the other day. I had like a three inch spark gap going on it, and it kind of backfired into it. I didn't have it grounded. But, um,. That's it. I mean, we can get the nice little, you know, plasma coming through these, so on and so forth. You got the plasma coming through the bulb. See? And, you know, you got your shock and stuff. 
all that good stuff. And all this is is just this is just a roll of um, um, that silver tape for duct work up in your AC and so on and so forth. But you know, I'm still fluctuating at 2.37, 2.38, uh, and I am all lit up. This is my whole back porch. Like, I mean, as you can tell, all I have plugged in is my power supply, which is running up to the back and into my power supply. It's right here. But um, anyhow, I have this power inverter and the battery here and my two right here um, I crank it up I get this up above about 190 volts coming out and I can crank up the TV too so uh, I guess we'll hurry up and do that real quick before I run out of time alright so alright anyways so we got positive to negative positive to negative This will be my negative right here. My negative rail. Ah. Oh yeah, that's why. Because I don't have it tapped in yet. It's hard to do this with one hand. Please excuse me. Positive and negative. Anyway, I'll get that going in a little bit, but anyways. That's what I got going. Oh yeah, and then I also have this. Like this is a bridge rectifier I put on here. Um doesn't want to focus in. But anyways, it's a bridge rectifier. Diode's lit right now. Um, I can ground it like this. Um, it's hard to do. I got, I'm learning. All right. So, anyways, the diode's dead right now, um, as you can see. But I can come over here and charge it, and now she's lit. I mean, that's pretty bright too. That ain't too bad. I mean, that was instant. It's pretty nice. So, I mean, I think we can utilize this in like these caps. And these bridge rectifiers and everything, I mean, I think we're all on to something. Because we are pretty lit up in here. I mean, and as you can tell, watch, I mean, here. The light will dim as I go down. I'll go down to 12 volts. Let's go to 12. Alright, so anyways, there we are, 12 volts. We're still lit up in here. We're going a little bit slower. But, uh, yeah, uh, it's not too bad. I like it though, but for the amount of uh, energy I'm putting into it, I'm definitely able to light up quite a bit of stuff. Um, I think it's pretty good. Oh, yeah. And it's not like it's dark in here, you know? So anyhow, I hope everybody enjoys. Um, let me know what you think. And uh, like I said, I'll show you how I'll turn on the TV later. It's just um, when I do turn on the TV, the problem is is that it pulls quite a bit of energy out to get it going. So then it's not a thing for me to do at night. Like the whole reason I'm doing this right now is so that way everybody can see the light output of it. Um, this thing works really good with, I mean, I have LEDs for the most part on everything, but, um, you can still put in your fluorescence. They still work pretty good. I mean, they get pretty bright too. They just take a second to kick on. And then, um... You can also put in your, hand me in that top drawer, honey, hand me a regular incandescent bulb. 
It's just like a, the old fashioned cruddy bulbs that they, yeah, these old things. I mean, the only thing they're good for is making plasma, my, my personal opinion. Oh, yeah. yeah, you gotta love the plasma. Yes, sir. And, uh, it lights these up, but it'll dim down, so we're still creating some heat, which is good. But, um, well, come on now. So, yeah. And, oh yeah, just so if there's any critics over down here, there was, uh, at the very end of the strand, um, as you can tell, it's right here. That's where they all go to. There's nothing here. That's the very end of the strand. As you can tell, it goes all the way up and then around and so on and so forth. But I mean, it's self-explanatory. As you can tell, when I bog the engine up 